clients. Hi, Rob. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks for coming. Oh, not a problem. Okay, I have a million questions for you. Let's jump right into it. What do you got for me? Okay, first we have uh, common tips uh, that we'd have for oven with the holidays coming along. Uh, a lot of problems we get calls on are ovens not heating properly okay. or heating unevenly. So one of the tips that our manufacturers gave us in it, across all brands, uh, if you're cooking in your oven, you've got a hot spot or the temperature seems off initially, uh, what you can do, you have your main uh, dish here, but right underneath that, you can put an empty cookie sheet. What that'll do is change the thermal pattern of your oven. And if you've got a hot spot in the back or the front, it's gonna cause that heat to roll over and wow. actually change and, and readjust the actual heat for that. Good tip, good tip. Now, I have another question for you. I am dying to get a new refrigerator. My husband thinks our refrigerator's great. I want a new refrigerator. When is the time to say goodbye to your appliance? Uh, generally, what we use uh, with the most modern appliance with the computer boards, the average age, 10 to 15 years. Now, in that time, you may have a repair, um, but depending on the appliance, we help with that. So what we would like to do is when we come out and do a service call, we're going to give you an exact estimate, and then we're going to sit down with you. If it's reaching that age or getting close, and we're looking at a massive repair, a couple hundred dollars, we're going to sit down. We're going to invite you to go look for a new appliance. Go find them, go price them, and then contact us back, and we can help you make that decision. Because it does vary. Refrigerators, you're talking, you know, fifteen to three thousand dollars. Three, yeah, fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars. Other appliances like microwaves. A lot of times you said, just go buy a new one. <laughs> so I would rather help you be satisfied in whatever decision you make. Now with the holidays coming, I know you're going to be really busy. What is the best thing to do? Would you, would you come out and do a check for us before the holidays, before my turkey is in the oven? What's your recommendation? Yes, so we can do a couple different ways to handle that. Um, we do calibrations for oven, things like that. We do also recommend if you're going to be getting close to that holiday period, to give us a little better notice, especially if you know it's bad. Um, the reason for that is if we do have to order parts for your oven, which is common nowadays, um, it takes us two to three days to get them. So if you call me that Tuesday before, you might have a cold turkey. <laughs> I can't promise, I, I'll do my best, but I can't promise we can get it in time. Okay, great, and give me the A to Z. What appliances do you handle? Uh, we handle all kitchen and laundry appliances. Uh, any brand. So we specialize in the high-end stuff as well as whatever's in your home. Um, so laundry, washer, dryer, all the kitchen appliances, large appliances. Okay, and in terms of service, how often should we have you out to look at our dishwasher or oven or microwave? The good thing about modern appliances is there is no, I guess you could say maintenance now. Uh, okay. Everything they've done is designed, so that, of course you can always see they have computer boards on them. So they're going to tell you if something's wrong or it's not going to function. So the good thing is, you know, the old rule of, hey, I need to have someone out every six months, not necessary. So if something's going wrong, that's when we tell you, give so us a call. It's going to alert us, call yeah. Rob, call Well, Rob. I wish it did that. <laughs> it's going to give you generally an F code or an E code, some type of code that you don't normally see. Okay. And the one thing we do say is if you can remember that code or write it down, a lot of times when we get to the house, it may not present that. So if we can have that code, then we can go in and do the diagnostics. It's also going to tell us what's wrong a lot of times when we do that. Uh, the only thing we really see every six months or a year water filters. Um, yes. You can get those directly from us uh, and we have a parts division as well. That, that information is on our website at marathonappliance.com and you can contact us. We can ship them directly to your house if you don't want to get out and hunt them down. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing we've run into with those lately is the generic ones you're getting from Home Depot and Lowe's are actually doing damage to the system. So I was just in Lantana last week and replaced a whole filter system on a refrigerator that cost about $350 to repair it because of a generic filter. So to save yeah, $10, $10 now filter. will hurt oh, you in the long no. run, yes. So. Okay, okay. now I'm going to beg you, Lantana wants a discount. What can you do for Lantana? Right. What we'll do uh, for the month of November, if they okay. mention Lantana Life, uh, we'll give them a 20% discount on all repairs. So service calls, things like that. Oh, I keep turning on the oven. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot over here. <laughs> um, but yes, we will give a 20% discount across the board uh, on a repair. Thank yes. you so much. Not a problem. Rob, 
I'll say a friend of mine has a stinky dishwasher. What can I recommend to her to get rid of that stink? Okay, what you can use, uh, we found a very inexpensive solution. Uh, they do make a lot of chemical cleaners that you have uh, in the grocery stores, place like that. They're pretty pricey and they're usually one-time use. Mm -hmm. What we've actually found is Tang the breakfast drink. The, no citric, yeah, the <laughs> citric acid is what it uses and that's what those cleaners use as well. Take a couple scoops, throw it in the bottom of the dishwasher with no dishes in it, run it empty, long cycle, and that'll clean it out and it'll come out smelling like oranges. Get out! Yeah, so nice, awesome. and, nice and simple and inexpensive. I think this is three, four bucks and it'll last you for four or five cleans. Wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I see another little package over there. Yes. What yes. is that for? So this is for our front loaders. Uh, the okay. front loading washing machines, uh, they get what we call the front loader funk. Um, <laughs> okay. These are specifically designed to clean off the gasket that's on the front where most people are dragging their clothes in and out. You don't want it rubbing on that okay. gray matter that builds up on there. So now these what, are designed. What is that gray matter? Uh, so what that is is actually soap, fabric softener residue, okay. as well as your clothes. So it's excess soap that's built up, not getting washed out of the machine. Okay. So with that, uh, everybody will love this. They can use less soap. Those machines are designed to use low water. So everybody fills up that soap cup you only, yeah, you only need a tablespoon. Oh, um, wow. And they've actually found that that amount of soap with that amount of water gets your clothes cleaner than if uh, you were using a top loading machine, one of the old style that uses all the water. Wow. So yeah, so that'll help. You can also use the tang uh, in there. You want to use more because uh, it's a bigger, bigger system. Uh, maybe half the container, just dump it in there and it'll clean it as well. Of course, with no clothes. Right? So. <laughs> the clothes yeah. smell like yeah. water. Unless you want orange smell like water. Rob, thank you so much for these great tips. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. If you'd like to be featured on an episode of Lantana Life TV, give us a call, shoot us a text, or find us on Facebook. <laughs> and as soon as you... Did I just turn that yeah. off my butt? Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't, don't record that. And don't... Oh my gosh, my butt keeps turning on the oven. That's awful. <laughs> Rob, thank you so much for being here and showing us some tips. Oh, we appreciate it. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just there to throw you, you off on that. Do you have anything else to say? I'm over you. Bye, Felicia. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay.